Let's start with the supply plenum connection to the air handler. I want to check the joint between the factory manufactured metal box and the ductwork that delivers the heated or cooled air to the house. When the insulation layer is on the outside of the duct system, you will need to move that out of the way so that you can confirm that the inner liner or surface is air sealed. I will carefully cut this layer somewhere close to the middle of each side of the return box so I can peel it back to look at the inner layer. After the cut is made, fold the insulation back out of the way. As hard as it may be to check, you will want to pay particular attention to the bottom and back sides of this connection. Quite often, this is not air sealed. You can use a flashlight and a mirror to inspect hard to reach places. If you find joints or connections that have not been sealed, you can leave those spots exposed for easy access for repair and let the HVAC contractor put the insulation layer back together after duct sealing has been completed. If you confirm that all the inner connections of the supply plenum to air handler have been sealed with mastic applied thick as a nickel, you can then put the insulation layer back together as you found it. This is where the UL181 rated tape comes in. The second location I am going to be focusing on is the air handler itself. This is a heat pump air handler, so there are no high temperature exhausts to consider. I'm going to be looking for sealing around refrigerant lines the electrical lines, and any and all access panels. The access panel and factory connections are the only parts of the HVAC system that I recommend not using mastic on. These locations, as well as electrical penetrations, refrigerant lines, and condensate lines, should be sealed with silicone, foil tape, or cork tape. Similar to the supply side, when the insulation layer is on the outside of the duct system, you will need to move it out of the way to confirm that the inner liner of the duct system is air sealed. Start by carefully cutting the layer in the middle of the return box. Fold and peel back the insulation to check that all the joints and connections are sealed with mastic. If you find that these joints and connections have not been sealed, you can leave these spots exposed for repair. But if you confirm that the inner surface connections have been sealed with mastic, you can then put the insulation layer back together with UL181 radiated tape.